Hello. Uh, Hello. Thank you for taking time out to have this interview. I, I guess you can start out by just explaining who you are and what position you hold here at Metro Goldwyn Mayor. Well, yes, of course. Uh, I am actually Lewis Mayer, and I'm executive producer. I'm in complete charge of the production here at MGM. Wow. Wow. So, like, so who are you? Like, where'd you come from, and uh, how'd you end up here? Yes, of course. Uh, well, I actually grew up in Russia. Uh, I came over here uh, when I was about 19 uh, to help expand my, my father's uh, scrap metal business. Uh, but as I got older, I kind of got tired of it, um, and I was looking for something else to do. Um, so basically, I ended up buying a really small theater um, in Haverhill, uh, Massachusetts. And from there, I expanded all my theaters, just uh, kept buying them um, to where I got my own uh, studio. And then eventually, um, ended up joining up with everyone else at MGM. Yeah, so like like low and I mean I I, I know you knew Thalberg, um, you know so you knew all them. Um, actually, maybe you can tell me. So like, who are some of the other executives and important figures that you worked with uh, here at the studio? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, as you mentioned, there is Marcus Lowe of Lowe's Inc. of Metro Pictures. There's also Lee Schubert of Schubert Theater of Fame uh, from Goldwyn Pictures. Uh, there's also Nicholas Sh Sh Shenek, um Chief Executive of Lowe's, and of course the the belated Irving uh, Alberg. Belated, yeah, yeah, I did hear. Uh, so, so tell us about Irving. I I know he passed away in uh, 1936. Uh, I mean, what was he like? Like, I heard he was amazing, like just brilliant. Yeah, I mean, Irving was the best. Uh, he was a really great guy. Um, before he passed away, he was responsible for overseeing production and hiring our stars, uh, many of whom were unknown actors until he uh, built them up actually into Metro stars. Uh, the stars were very, very important to him. He actually even refused to lend some of the stars to any other studios. Um, so then the two of us together strive to get product out. Uh, we became really successful and we have uh, successful pictures. And one of our main goals for MGM was to carry out this idea of pounding the public with the star names. It's because of this idea that I think we struggled less than our competitors did during the Depression, actually. Wow, wow. Um, well, um, you know, just, just, just to clarify, uh, I know Thalberg we've also spent a lot of money, too. So, speaking of the Depression, <laughs> um, how did that affect the studio? You have Thalberg spending all this money, and how did you make it through that difficult, difficult time? Well, yeah, um, we did have a pretty large uh, quarterly deficit. It was about uh, six million dollars. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so to pull through that, uh, we had to make quite a few sacrifices. Um, I know that most of our executives at MGM Studios uh, took we took salary cuts, and we actually cut down slightly on production costs as well. So unfortunately, around that time, our films weren't really up to our MGM standards, um, but we ended up coming out all right. Wow. So when you say MGM standard, you mean like spending a whole bunch of money? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, that's dedication, true dedication. And speaking of dedication and sacrifice, uh, so you talked a little about your stars. Um, what do you think is it? Like, why do you think your stars, your specific MGM stars, are so successful? Well, um, I think they're successful from the very beginning, actually, because we do handpick them. Um, and then we just work with them very hard, uh, have very long days, um, just try to make them the best that they can be. Uh, we also advertise them in the most attractive, seductive way possible, uh, usually as a pair, uh, which was actually kind of expensive, but we made the investment and we're very successful doing so. Uh, this is actually very common. I do this a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So basically what you're saying is MGM executives go big, go home. Um, from big production costs to big name stars, um, elaborate sets and costumes, <laughs> like wow, like um, so. Now I guess the question is, what's next? Yeah, um, we do like to go big, uh, but we and that's exactly why we took a hard hit after the death of Thalberg and the depression. Uh, however, looking forward, um, I hired the talented uh, Dora Sherry. And he's absolutely great. Uh, he is actually taking us in the direction of the musical genre. 
Um, not a lot of people are really doing that. Um, and some of our biggest upcoming films are actually musicals, and that includes The Wizard of Oz and Gone with the Wind. Wow, well, good luck to you, and um, thanks again for this interview. I guess, um, I guess my last question, off the record, are there any scandals I should know about? Uh, well, personally, I, I wouldn't really know about them. Uh, I try to keep it strictly business here uh, at the studio, so I can't. <laughs> I, I, I understand. Well, thank you. Thank you so much again. No, thank you.